So you are a video creator and you want some cool transition on your video. But the problem is you're too busy to create them for yourself. And I get it. Life is busy. We live in a world of AI where you need everything super easy and fine. It's, it's get it, buddy. So in this video, I'm going to give you 20 of my easy to use, just drag and drop type simple transitions for your video. If you just want the transition, the link in the description, click on that, download it and you're good to go. But if you are someone who wants to learn the whole process and how to use them, stick around and I will show you the whole process. By the way, it's all for Premiere Pro, so don't use it in DaVinci Resolve. I don't know if this will work or not in DaVinci Resolve because I never checked it. So let's go into Premiere Pro. So first of all, click on the link and you will be prompted to this page, Simple Transitions. You're going to hit download and it will download on your computer. Select download folder or wherever you want it. Save it. Here is your download simple transition. Double click and open this zip file. If you're using Mac, if you're using PC, I think you just right click and it will give you option to extract here. So I'm on a Mac user, double click open there you have it this is the preset pack remember you can either leave it here or you can save it wherever you want it for this purpose i'm just gonna leave it here and now let's go bring this thing into premiere pro so go to your premiere pro you can see and i have some of these video and i'm going to apply the transition on this thing so first if you see i already have this pack here but i will teach you how to import this thing in order to import the whole folder of transitions all you need is just click on this sandwich icon and it will give you the options import preset click on that you see this is the one click ok and open and now you see the new one has been created this is where all your transitions are right now there are 20 of them you can use all 20 of them however you like it i'm going to show you three examples or maybe four examples because some of them are slightly different and might require a slightly different way of drag and dropping it so on each transitions if you see if you hover on it you can see the name it explain you what type of a transition is that and how many frames it will take if you need more detail you can right click and go to preset property and here it will have a more explanation for example in this one if you go to the property you have this whole explanation here you can always check the properties how to use these transitions in case if you forget and in case if you don't know how to use them so let's say i'm gonna use this first one stretch to right so it's gonna stretch towards the right 10 frames so first i'm going to do is create a adjustment layer on my on the top of these two clips so let's say i'm here bring this adjustment layer and come back to the effect so if you uh, adjustment is bigger longer than the actual requirement so i'm gonna click shift key and press left for five frame and i make a cut here then i'm gonna press the shift key again and hold and press left sorry right and five frame and five frame that makes it 10 frame total so i'm gonna cut the rest of the thing so now I have this adjustment layer of 10 frames. I'm going to make a copy of this adjustment layer by holding option key or alt key in your PC. This is for the future reference and I'll explain you why I made the copy, but this is where you will apply the adjustment layer. So what I'm going to do is just drag and drop this, adjust this effect on my adjustment layer. And now this is how it's going to look like. You see that? Let's watch it again. So it's a very easy right side stretch effect now let's come back to another one this is my another adjustment layer that's why i made the copy so that i don't have to cut each time because majority of my transitions if you see they're 10 or 20 frames and having a 10 frames adjustment layer makes life easier so i have this another one and let's say i'm going to apply this one down to up so it's gonna drop down and requires 10 frame again so i'm gonna be in the center i'm gonna press shift and left so five frame so make sure this my adjustment layer matches my cut so if this is five frame till center that means the rest of it another five frame so i have another 10 frame and i'm gonna drag and drop this here so let's say so you see that it's it's kind of up to down so this is how you can apply this one now let's go ahead the next one now i'm going to apply this one which requires nested so if you see some of them might require you to nest your clip and when it says that my recommendation just hover over it and you can read there is the whole explanation or you can right click and go to preset property and read the whole process what exactly you are supposed to do with this transition so what I'm going to do is bring my cursor into the center and create 20 frame, basically 10 on each. So I'm going to press shift and press two times. This time my left key one, two, that's my 10 frame. And one, two, 10, five and 10, the two. And then I have to nest these 20 frame. And I can right click and do the nest file. 
and okay now i have this nested so right now there is nothing it's just a jump cut if i apply this rolling 20 frame rolling effect on this then i have this old roll effect on this transition pretty cool huh that's the second style and the third style of transition among this 20 that are as i said three categories is some of these ones especially these 20 frames one so again i would need 20 frame and says i'm gonna use the adjustment layer again so let's go ahead bring the adjustment layer here on top 10 frame on each side so my 5 10 5 10 5 10 make a cut get rid of this thing if i just bring and i drag and drop this one slide left now you see what happened here is it zoom into my clip and it kind of look weird so this is half and then zoom in transition zoom out you don't want something like that right so what you have to do in this kind of transition if you get this problem or if something like that happened to your clip make sure you make the cut to the clip right when the adjustment layer starts and right where the adjustment layer ends so you have this two cut on the clip itself and i want you to apply this base layer so base layer on one base layer on two apply base layer only when the clip is zooming basically otherwise don't apply it and now you can, there you go come here and once you apply now you see there is no zoom in now because the base layer makes it like zoomed out in a simple way all right guys this is all i have for you i hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new and also got free stuff if you enjoyed this video and if you like my transitions please give a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and share with people who needs this free transition i will see you again with another exciting video something to learn something to explore or something to excited about until then my lovely people do whatever you want to do in life but don't forget to stay happy ciao